When building a fence, how deep should those fence posts be set? Stay tuned as we dig into this week's Frequently Asked Question. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family has been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. Now, whether you're building a wood fence or building a chain link fence, really building any type of fence, this concept is gonna apply across the board. Now understand that frost depths can vary pretty widely depending on where in the world you are. But here in the United States, it can vary from anywhere from six inches or less in our southern states to more than 48 inches in our northern states. To best determine how deep your fence post needs to be set, first you need to understand the frost depth in your area. So once you've determined the frost depth in your part of the world, you really want to add at least six inches to that frost depth to understand how deep your fence posts need to be set. Now here in the Midwest of the United States, our frost line is somewhere between 12 and 15 inches. So when we set our fence posts, we set them a full 24 inches deep so that we're sure that no matter how cold the winter gets, no matter how deep that frost line goes, our fence posts will always be buried underneath that frost line. But why is that important? The main danger of not setting that fence post below the frost line is what they call frost heave. Meaning that as the frost line lowers, as the ground freezes, if it gets underneath the concrete or whatever you've used to set that post, it's going to constrict underneath the fence post and push it up year after year until eventually that post heaves out of the ground. Now this leads to leaning posts or posts are generally just not straight. They're pretty unsightly. The good news is the solution is simple. Simply determine the frost depth in your area and then set your fence posts at least six inches below and you'll never have to worry about frost eve in your fence. And there you have it. Another answer to one of our most frequently asked questions. If you have more questions about the fence installation process, check out our video series dedicated to answering your frequently asked questions.